figure not drawn to scale. In the figure uh, shown, lines R and S, there's our two lines, R and S, are parallel. All right, parallel. And line M intersects both lines. If Y is less than 65, which of the following must be true? They are testing your knowledge of how a transversal, that is a line that crosses two parallel lines, what kind of angles does it make? Anytime you have parallel lines and a transversal, there's a whole bunch of relationships that happen. And if you want more details about why this is true, I have videos on this below. But for this purpose, I'm just going to tell you the facts of what is what is true here. These four angles are all the same. And these four angles are all the same. And in this case, so I've got, you know, I have these four angles that are all the same. And then those green ones are all the same. So make that really clear. And the green angles and these purple blue angles are going to be supplementary. That is, they're going to add up to 180 degrees. But you can see it when they're right next to each other. But because they're the same across, it would mean that this and this is supplementary. Or this angle and that angle are supplementary. So that's the knowledge they're testing you on. So over here, these angles, you just rotated it 90 degrees, are all supplementary, are all, excuse me, are all congruent. And these are all congruent. And again, those opposite colors are going to be supplementary. So Y is our a green angle and X is a red angle. They're going to be supplementary. So X plus Y is going to equal 180 degrees. I'm going to erase this here. So Y is less than 65. So let's pick a number less than 65. Let's say Y is 64. What would X be? Well, let me subtract 64 from both sides. And X is going to be 116. So which of these must be true? So this Let's see this statement that if X is Y is less than 65, I've discovered that X is 116. Which of those agrees with this? First, I have X is less than 115. Nope, already discovered it's greater than that. So boom, that's out. X is greater than 115. Yeah, that is true. Next one, X plus Y is less than 180. No, we said X plus Y equals 180. X plus Y is greater than 180. Nope. B is the only one. We don't have to do any further work. And you see this as like a, these are making up a line. So if Y was less than 65, this could be all the way down to be like, Y could be 10, Y could be 5, Y could be anything less than 65. So if Y were equal to 65, X would be 115. But because Y is less than 65, it must be greater than 115 to both add up to 180. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.